Good afternoon from the National Weather Service office in Gaylord. Welcome to the latest hazardous weather briefing for eastern upper and northern lower Michigan. Today is Wednesday, March 13, 2013. And here's a few highlights over the next several days that we'll be looking at. One focus will be associated with a cold front that will be dropping across the upper Great Lakes on Friday and that is expected to bring a band of accumulating snowfall to primarily northern lower Michigan Friday and especially Friday night. And then we'll be watching the potential for a late winter storm uh, that will be moving across the central part of the country and into the Great Lakes in the Monday and Tuesday time frame of next week. Uh, but at this point, uh, as is typical with the systems that originate over the Pacific Ocean, there is a lot of uncertainty as to exactly how the system will evolve. And it's probably going to take a couple more days at least before we have even a decent idea as to where the system is going to go and what kind of impacts it's going to have on the upper Great Lakes region. So it's something to keep in mind going forward, but we don't have a lot of answers just yet with this system. Uh, there's a lot of uh, different ideas out there in terms of not only precipitation amounts, but precipitation type as the track of the system will impact uh, how much warm air can get pulled up uh, into Michigan ahead of this system. So we'll be keeping an eye on that uh, as we head especially in, into this weekend. In the short term, however, uh, we do have a cold front that is moving off to the east of Michigan today. Uh, we did have some snow shower activity across the region this morning, but drier air moving in across the upper Great Lakes uh, this afternoon has really dried out a lot of that. We have high pressure located over the uh, central part of the country, extending up into uh, central parts of Canada. And that area of high pressure will be building into the region for later on tonight and into the day on Thursday. And should result in a fairly quiet period over the next uh, 24 hours or so. And then on this map, we see our next cold front, which will be at this time located over the upper Midwest. And that will be diving southeastward uh, into the upper peninsula Thursday night and across lower Michigan on Friday. And along and behind that front, we do expect to see a band of snowfall set up, again, primarily across northern lower Michigan. And it's expected to bring some accumulating snows uh, both Friday and into Friday night before things taper off on Saturday. And then beyond that, uh, much of the weekend should be on the quiet side, and then we'll uh, be watching our next uh, system that may impact the region for the early part of next week. Here's a 3-day precipitation total forecast. This runs from 8 p.m. tonight through 8 p.m. on Saturday. And you see this uh, almost east-west oriented band of uh, heavier precipitation, uh, generally more than a half inch uh, possible in liquid amount across uh, primarily lower Michigan. There is some precipitation depicted across eastern upper on this map, uh, but more likely that heavy precipitation will be shifted farther south, uh, and much of the eastern UP will probably miss out for the most part in this event unless there is a, a shift in the track of the system, which is certainly possible. Uh, a small uh, northward shift in the frontal position uh, may push some of the uh, better snowfall back into the UP as well, but at this point, it looks like the main impacts with this next event will be mainly south of the bridge. Uh, it does look like there could be in the possibly four to five inches, a little bit more snow uh, between Friday and Friday night, uh, mainly uh, south of M68 in northern lower Michigan. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, the better snowfall potential is probably going to occur late Friday afternoon or Friday night uh, as temperatures begin to cool a bit as that cold front sinks a little farther to the south. So that is going to be the main hazard uh, over the next five days is going to be uh, the snowfall associated with that the frontal boundary coming through on Friday. And as I mentioned earlier, we'll be watching the possibility of a winter storm uh, impacting the upper Great Lakes as we head into the first part of next week. That concludes this hazardous weather briefing for this afternoon. Thank you for listening in. The next update is expected around 5 a.m. Thursday morning.